Hey there, it's Jody. I was so happy with the progress of Garden Vale. I have to share a progress update. Let's check it out. I'm often astonished at how an area with rocks could result in so many flowers and edible plants over the past three years. That's probably why I knew this area needed a major upgrade to fit in with the rest of the garden. When I first imagined the changes, I had plans to purchase these exact hanging pots. I liked the way that they were only 12 to 15 bucks, but I also liked that they kind of tied in with the aeration pots already in the area. The materials, shovel, two pallets, two horizontal hanging fabric pots, two vertical hanging fabric pots, gloves, potting soil, screws or nails for the hanging fabric pots. Potential costs. When considering a garden project, I know I'm always hoping to save money, so I'll share the cost of the project in the video description. Bear in mind this excludes the cost of the plants planned for the area. The project. The most difficult part of this project was digging a horizontal line that was about two feet deep which Ryan so graciously helped me out with. The two pallets needed to be placed inside the horizontal hole and buried, resulting in a sturdy vertical wall. The area had hundreds of small and medium rocks that hit the shovel, which delayed the process a great deal. After hand digging the rocks, the rest of the project was a breeze. All I had left was to clear the dirt along the walkway and the stepping stones, return the rocks border, and move the aeration pots back to the area. The vertical pots were mounted, and all I had to do was fill in the potting soil. The plants. Of course, I'm not the type of person to upgrade a garden space without any plants in mind. The original plan was to grow herbs, leafy greens, and flowers in the vertical pots, and move the strawberries from the boardwalk to make more space for tomatoes. The main concern about planting tomatoes and strawberries too close together is the diseases they share. To be safe, I moved the strawberry plants from the boardwalk to the deep pockets of the horizontal pots. As for the small vertical pockets, I planted thyme and nasturtiums. I also planted zinnias and this beautiful blue-shaped flower called lithodora, which will be a focal point in the vertical space. One of the most frustrating things about growing plants as a pet lover is discovering so many toxic plants. I fell in love with these tiny blue flowers at the local nursery and held my breath in hope that they weren't toxic for pets. After doing a search on my smartphone, I found out that they were safe for pets. They're the exact pop of color I need in the garden, so much so that I've decided to paint the lanterns this beautiful color. And then finally, the vision of Gardenville came alive with the plants. I hope you enjoyed the progress in the garden. By the next time you see this area, it should be in the May Garden Tour. Until next time.